This is Alim from Javelin, trying to address a problem that's very common in mold design. How to deal with a face that straddles the parting line. I'll go actually a few steps further and I will build faces that would be tangent to this face, exactly at the draft limit, and the new faces would also meet the draft condition. So let's start by doing a draft analysis on this part. I need 6 degree draft and you can see that other than the features that are going to be machined, Everything else is meeting the draft condition. The only one that straddles the parting line is the cyan one. So I'm going to concentrate on solving the problem at this level. The tool of choice for splitting faces is the parting line. And I don't need it for the core and cavity split. I need it just in order to split faces. So let me select the direction. One thing I found out is that these options are grayed out, at least in SOLIDWORKS 2014, which is the version that I I choose to use in order to match the one that Dwight has. But uh, if you change the angle for a second, kind of go back and forth, they become available. So let's select again the same face. And I'm going to go draft analysis. And you can see that the face that was straddling the parting line now is being split at the specified angle, which is 6 degree. I need to select an edge though in order to be able to exit this command and split this face. So I don't really need a parting line, but well, I needed to create one. I'm just going to hide the curve and ignore the warning. The warning says, well, the parting line is not closed. But as I said, I don't really need this as a parting line, just as the tool to provide a correct split. So you can see th the split on the top is correct. Now, what about the split on the bottom? You can see that this face is still straddling the parting line. Well, you have to run the parting line one more time. So I'm going to go based on the same face. I'm going to change the direction so the arrow now is going to point down. And I'm going to play again with the angle in order to see if I have access to the split face. Looks like in this case even changing the angle it doesn't give me the option to split the faces. So the trick here would be turn on draft analysis. Now I have access to the split face and I'm going to say split at specified angle. And you can see the result. Now I'm getting 6 degree on the bottom and the green face is brand new. The Whatever is left as blue is the one that is going to need to be eliminated. And again I need one edge to be selected. Let me hide this parting line too. So I'm pretty good at this point. I created the edges that I wanted. And I can, if I want, I can delete this face and the one on the opposite side. Allow me to save time by working on only one side. So I'm going to use the right plane for cutting this part in two. So let's run cut it with surface. And uh, when I finish, I'm going to mirror it back. One thing I would like to do is to create also new edges on, uh, on these two faces in order to have a perfect match from here flowing out. So I'm going to open up a 3D sketch And let's try to capture the face curves for this face. That is going to go through this point. I'm a big fan of face curves just because it's using the fabric of the underlining uh, surface. So, face curve, sorry. Let me drag this icon in because I'm going to use it a few times. I'm going to say on this face, give me just the set of curves that goes through this point and keep only the cyan one. Let's do it again for this one. Again position based on this point, keep the cyan. And again on this side, the one that would go through this point. And one more time, the one that would go through this point. So I have pretty much the 3D sketch that I need for any future trimming later on. Let's uh, do the trimming based on this 3D sketching. So I'm just going to try to copy these faces as a new surface body. Offset 0 or neat will do the trick. Let me hide 
the solid body. And let's see if I can use this 3D sketch for trimming the new surface body. So I'm gonna keep this side and this side. And everything else is gone. I'm gonna show again the old solid body. And I'm gonna delete the faces that have been copied. So delete face without any patching and we're good to go. So what I have there it's a gap through through this face. But you can see right now that everything is is okay from the point of view of uh, of the draft. I just need to add material in this area. Let me turn off the draft analysis for a moment in order to figure out what bodies I'm working with. And again, I'm going to looks like I need you to do a bit more delete face deletion on uh, in this case. So allow me to go back before the delete face. These are the two surface bodies. I'm just going to hide them for a moment and coming back here on the delete face I need to delete a few extra faces which would be these two also. And I'm going to turn off this option display what's wrong during rebuild because really there is nothing wrong with the parting line. I'm going to show you again, you again those two surfaces and allow me to isolate them for the time being. Then let's run the rule surface command. That's going to be ran as a taper to vector uh, rule surface. And let's go taper based on the top plane. I believe we said we need six degree. And I'm going to go only one millimeter. So taper to vector based on the top plane. Let me pick this edge from here to here and go in the opposite direction. Now let's say also change the direction so I'm going to use alternate side. So it's going to open like that. That's the first one. Let me do the same thing for uh, for the bottom edges. So I'm going to try to run again the rule surface with the same conditions. But this time I'm going to pick all the edges from here all the way to here. I'm going to select this tree. I should have used shift select, alternate direction and I seem to be okay. The two new surface bodies and allow me to hide the old ones. You can see these ones how they are going through each other. Let's try to trim them. So I'm going to run the trim command running mutual trimming on this body and this body. And let's keep only the outside. Um, yeah, the top and the bottom. And you can see the new body that has been created there. So at this point, wouldn't be a bad idea to show all the surface bodies that I have available. Let's give it a try and try to knit all of them. And close all the gaps. Try to form a solid. Okay. And of course the next step would be mirroring the solid. So don't mirror features, always mirror solids. Looks like I created the faces that I wanted. Let's run the draft analysis. And no more straddle faces. Actually you can see that the new faces I created are meeting the draft condition on both sides. I hope you liked it and uh, feel free to ask us any questions you might have in this regard. Thank you very much.